Well, hello there, and welcome to the Be Good Maui Charleston Cancun Battlefield Classic Invitational. I'm Sam Oppenheim, and no, I do not run an early season college basketball tournament. These tournaments are known as MTEs. It stands for multiple team events, and they are a fixture of college basketball in November and December. Every Big E school will participate in one this season. However, there is one MTE that has been forgotten for the nice, warm weather. The Great Alaska Shootout. It's a tropical paradise. Now the Great Alaska Shootout was not any regular early season college basketball tournament. It was the longest running MTE beginning in 1978 before ending five years ago. And for decades, it featured some of the best teams and players in the country. Ray Allen and Dwayne Wade are both Great Alaska Shootout Tournament MVPs. The men's shootout ended in 2017 because of, well, funding for a tournament in which the competition had sharply decreased. The women's Great Alaska Shootout took place this year for the first time since 2017. But I think the men's tournament should also return. We cannot exclude any state based on how far north it is, how cold it is, if it only gets seven hours of sunlight during the winter. I don't want to hear that. What does matter is what this tournament did for many programs. And for one team, in one season, it may have been the spark for the program's greatest season ever. We're talking about the 1988-89 Seton Hall Pirates. Led by head coach PJ Carlissimo, the Pirates had just reached the NCAA tournament for the first time in program history. 1988 was expected to be another strong campaign. The Pirates were led by upperclassmen John Morton and Andrew Gaze. But according to PJ, it wasn't just going to be the same as a season ago. I remember going into this year and not being afraid because we thought we were a good team, but with the honest feeling being we could be good, but we're never going to do. It's never going to be as special as it was last year. And so Seen Hall embarked on a new season, beginning with the Great Alaska Shootout. The Pirates first took care of Utah by 18 points to set up a semifinal matchup with Kentucky. Senior forward Daryl Walker scored all of his 13 points in the second half. Walker's team high 13 points was the lowest for a leading score for Seen Hall all season. Gerald Green, with an A, sank two big free throws to give Seen Hall a three point lead, and the Pirates held on to win 63 60. Next up, the championship. St. Paul hoping to be a Cinderella surprise sleeper club, if you will, in that Big East, while Kansas, even though they can't really defend, they want to come out and show people that they belong in the defending role as the national champion. In the championship, the Pirates were led by the international tandem of Puerto Rican Ramon Ramos and Australian Andrew Gaze. Ramos had 16 and Gaze scored 18. But it was the little guy on the hall who made big time contributions. Cookie Wigington coming, has Cooper with him. Scooter Berry there. Wigington. Jeff Pritchard, minor. Pookie Wigington was only 5-4, but his play was instrumental in that game. Seeing all won the game 92-81, and that was the start the Pirates needed to begin their season. To me, Alaska was one of the keys to our entire season. That just set the tone right off the bat that we were a good team. What followed was the most successful season in program history. Seen Hall reached its first and only Final Four and was one win shy of a national championship. So what's the lesson here? Well, early season college basketball tournaments can lead to success down the road. And also, let's bring back the great Alaska shootout in full. Now nobody asked for this, but I'm taking up the charge. Thanks for watching the third episode of Be Good. The Great Alaska Shootout Championship goes to Carlissimo and the Seton Hall Pirates.